Chris Greeley here. I'm with Michael Andrews, and this is Dinkle Tap Productions, and we're going to play you a song, and we're going to teach you the methods on how not to play mandolin. Right, Michael? That's right. All ready? One. One, two, three. That was our Andy Wayne performance with Michael Andrews here on his new Daybreak album, Don't Pee in the Wind, with the Pissville Brigade. And that was a little number he likes to call IP Free. Michael Andrews, now, yeah. when did you come up with that song? Um, I came up with that when I was in the bathroom one time. Uh, I just couldn't hold it in, so I just had to pee freely, and then an instrumental just popped up in my head, and I was you just like, you know, Chris? That'd be a great song to write about. You know, you know, and that's all. That's one thing that every musician should know. Inspiration comes anywhere, from anywhere. If you, from sitting in the bathroom, on the toilet, minding your own business, you could be taking a pee and you could be peeing freely, Literally. and you can realize yep. that that's the instrumental. It's, you're supposed to go with the flow. And I've hit, I've hit so many awards with this song. I've been to IBMA with this since one now, song you, of the year. You hit one note over here. And, oh no. It was actually this one, and it had a big chord behind it, and I just shuffled on it for a while. Chris, uh, that note right there, I usually hit that around 10 to 12, maybe sometimes 14 on a good day. This note right here? No, it's actually the one right above it. It's that one, yeah. Oh, it, is that the, um, that's the, that's the A note? That's the P note. That's oh, that's P, okay. So that's when you actually get that, that P. That's really. where I got that from, man. And here at Dingle Tab, this is how not to play a mandolin. And back again with Michael Andrews, and he's going to be showing us more lessons on how to play mandolin. Right, Michael? Okay. That hurt you. Know? That hurt my feelings. Okay, well, next Show us song another we're one from, be your, doing... from your IP Freely album. Or, next... no, from your, I'm sorry, I apologize. From your Don't Pee in the Wind album. Yeah. Um, this one's called uh, Hurrin. It's it's a rendition of urine, but it's Hurrin. You get it? She's in what? Hurrin. What's she in? Anyway, the, the song is going to be in B. Um, for all you mandolin players out there, your B scales, somewhere in this area, it could be there. It depends on the day. So, at, the, at the seventh fret? Yeah. So how the song Hurrin starts, it just sort of shuffles around in there. It just goes... Today, I, I don't really feel like going back up there, so I'm just going to go back down. You know what I'm saying? It's just like whatever you feel. You know, music comes from the heart, and you know, when I was making this uh, album, and it sort of came from my, uh, from my extra spare time in the bathroom, so I really didn't care about the sound of it. It was just the time that it took to do that. So that shuffling sort of reminded me of that consistent urine. Now, as a musician, yeah. I just I want to I want to express to them that timing is the most important thing in bluegrass music. That's true. And now tell us how you how you keep your timing. Well, how I started. how I keep my timing, I usually just tap my foot. But then you know when when I get going, sometimes I'll be tapping fast, and that'll be my time. And it's just like it's just you know it's like a boat. You like speed it up, and it just you know. Yeah, it, it, it's but it's still in time. Did you cut that off again so we can all understand exactly yeah. how you count off your songs? Yeah, it, it's it's you know I, when I wrote it, I, I meant I could 
Like, I could do it, but like the students, it's a really hard song to catch on because it starts in that B section as I was talking there. How do you count it off? And I, I'm usually just like one, two, three, four, or like on a good day, like one, three, four, two. It just depends, you know. And then I just start bouncing my foot up and down. It'll just sort of Keep hard, top. it'll just hard ditty all over the place, and I'll just be like. So that's pretty much how I start the song. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Um, also, um, um, real quick before you start that song, I want to show you, show us your tone methods on how you play mandolin. Yeah. Um, what I, are some of your methods on I, how you get the most tone? I try to keep mandolin? it clean and mm -hmm. try to keep it really bright so we could like. Uh, so you can see it. Bring the old bluegrass back into style. You know, sometimes I play it here yeah, when I'm chopping. trying to get back into that retro. I mean, right, you know, progressive that, isn't always good. I mean, definitely. I mean, look, I mean, boat shoes are coming back, and how come Jim, how come some of the old bluegrass can't come back? Exactly. Exactly. That's what I feel, and when I chop up here, I'll just sort of work my way back up here. Towards, towards the bridge. Towards the bridge. That's, yeah. where, I, that's where I get the good tone. That's, that's why I bought this mandolin, because it sounds really good back here. It's just like perfect sound back here. Like up here... It sounds way too deep. It, it just sounds too uh, bold. Yeah. It's, it's it's just too manly. So for my taste, I usually bring it back to this feminine sound. Now, how do you hold your pick? Can you can you get a, give us an idea? Pick. I know pick holding. It doesn't seem like much um, to the musicians out there. Well, holding the pick doesn't seem like much, but there's a lot of technique into it, and who better to learn from than the Michael Andrews and himself? I uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, usually, folks, I usually try to hold the pick with my fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes um, uh, on a good day, it, it, it's just like. <clears throat> I really try to keep it re really far back to where I've got more control over it. Like that right there? Like to where it flexes. I mean, it's so stiff, so it's got to flex. Yeah. So usually I try to hold it with my, my um, like fingernail areas around that, but then sometimes it slips back down, and then it, that's bad posture. Um, you should not hold the pick like that um, and when because you... it, there's too minimum, and you need that friction to dig in sometimes. So... That's that's usually how I hold my pick. Um, Do you have any special angles or anything that you would like I, to? I just try to keep it straight up and down. It pulls that string as hard as it can, and it just it gives it that really. You hear that? You hear that good sound? Yeah. I mean, listen to this. Is, doesn't that sound better? That's, that's you know what? So again, this is how not to play mandolin. And and just this is Sorry about that. it's okay. Uh yeah, advertisement, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you just hold it back here. So we're gonna play the song uh Hurrin. <clears throat> it's in the key of B. It just hits uh it's sorta of like nine pound hammer in the key of B. So that's pretty much all, right, all this. Cool. But it sort of shuffles around on that beginning. So using all the techniques that I've showed y'all, I'm gonna really try to play my best uh, the best tone. Get. After this, we'll get on to into tuning. Okay, ready? One, one, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, that was really good, Michael. Um, um, I also noticed. Um, I also noticed uh, your your tone. I, I noticed how you do fluctuate, fl fluctuate between picking just down, 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 and then up, 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 up. 
I, I really, um, I actually, I've never seen that before. Is that your own special technique instead of just going, like, yeah. some, a lot of, like, beginners and stuff like that, mm -hmm. a lot of people who are trying to get into bluegrass, they think you got to have this up and down technique, like. I find it easier. It, it, it's a, at, this, at one time, it's a little harder, but it, it really gives it that, that, that growl. That, yeah. And how I tune the mandolin, I usually just do, like, just, I just, like, um, I just, you know, yeah, that's how I tune it right there. And you know, with that, that was really good. And I, I just want to say that with, that was from your new album too. Um, also, you can find that on you can buy that on on iTunes right now.